Today's recipe is going to be scalloped potatoes. You can find the list of ingredients you'll need in the bottom of the video. Here I melted six tablespoons of butter. Um, you can use salted or unsalted butter. If you're using unsalted butter, you do need to taste it at the end to see if you need to add more salt. And you may need to add um, a little more salt. If you're using salted butter, you still need to taste it and just adjust the seasoning. In goes a quarter cup of all-purpose flour and I'm going to brown this. Not really brown it, but just cook the flour in. This is going to be like a light bechamel in a way. Just to make sure there's no clumps of flour. And you're doing this on a medium flame, low flame, just keep adjusting it. You don't want the butter to burn. Okay, then we're going to add milk. One and a half cups of milk. This is optional. Quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper or red pepper. Tablespoon of garlic powder. I'm going to mix this. And bring this to a light. Okay, this came to a light boil. I'm going to turn the heat completely down. I got two bean eggs here. And what I'm going to do is just spoon some of the liquid out of the, we'll spoon some of the milk into this, and then beat it quickly. And this is called tempering. And the reason why you temper is to keep your eggs from scrambling when you go and add it. So do this a few times. One spoonful, and then quickly whisk. You're going to add approximately three quarters of a cup of this milk, of this special milk. Turn the heat back up to about medium. While stirring the bechamel, you're going to add the egg mixture. And you see it's starting to thicken up a lot. So I'm just going to keep the heat on medium flame now. I'm going to add a quarter cup of mozzarella cheese. Give this a stir. Turn off the flame. And that's it. Now we're going to start the um, potatoes. So here in total, I have three um, and a half pounds of potatoes. These are regular rest potatoes. I thinly sliced them, peeled them, and thinly sliced them. So I just lined the bottom of the pan here with um, the potatoes. Sprinkle a little salt over them. Then I thinly sliced uh, two onions. Just break apart the onions. And lay it down. And this is a really good dish for anyone who loves onions also. Pour half of the bechamel mixture over. It doesn't have to be completely perfect. I'm going to have some, uh, a stick of room temperature butter. I'm just going to place a few dots of butter over this and um, it is important that you add this butter because it, it helps with creating the texture for um, the scalloped potatoes. Sprinkle over the mozzarella cheese and just sprinkle it over. You can use however much cheese you want to use for this. Now we're going to put on the remaining of the potatoes on top. Sprinkle on more salt. 
just literally not a lot. So we put the rest of the butter, just dot it. And then you're gonna cover the top with um, the cheese. Pour the remaining bechamel over. It doesn't have to be perfect, as I said. And then just for this bechamel top, you just spread it. So now we added the remaining bechamel. Bake it 400 degrees for an hour and a half. And here are the potatoes. It has nice brown caramelization. Um, they cook for about an hour and 25 minutes. I took it out the oven and I allowed them to stand for about 15 minutes. I hope you guys try this recipe and enjoy it. Please do not forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. By subscribing, you get to see new videos from me every Wednesday and Saturday. Remember to live and be well. Do all you can to stop all bullying and abuse. Thank you for watching.